Hi guys, this is going to be a quick review video on equations and maybe some expressions. Equations and expressions are going to be used from in every math from now on. And it is so important that you can solve these and that you understand how to do them, not just for word problems, not just for leap, but for every math you're going to do from now on. And it'll make it so much less confusing. So quick review video. This is the first equation we have, 3 times x, hang on, all right, sorry, I had to get a different pen, 3 times x plus 1 fourth equals 49 over 4. First step, does it have parentheses or not? It doesn't. So that means our first step will be the opposite of add or subtract, or if the number's in front, getting the opposite of that number because we want a zero pair. Because remember, the goal is to get the letter by itself on one side of the equal, the numbers and signs on the other side of the equal by doing the opposite math to both sides of the equal sign. So I look. There's my constant, one-fourth. The opposite of adding one-fourth is subtracting one-fourth. So I'm going to do minus one-fourth to both sides of the equal sign. There's my zero pair, meaning I get zero. And 3x plus zero remains 3 times x, which is what I want. First step to getting it by itself equals... When I do the math over here, the denominator stays the same. 49 minus 1 is 48. So before I bring that down, I always check to see, can 48 divide by 4 and make this easier for me? 48 divided by 4 is 12. Now I just have one step left to get one variable by itself. I do the opposite math, and any time a number is in front of a letter or parentheses, it means multiplication. So the opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. We show that with a fraction line. That means 3 divided by 3, and we do it to both sides of the equal sign. When I do it on this side, it gives me 1x. That's what we want. And we just write 1x like that. We don't have to put the 1 in front unless we need it for something. And on this side, 12 divided by 3 is 4. There was no negatives. When we did this in class, there was a negative. This one does not, so we don't want to pick one incorrectly. If I wanted to put the 4 back, I could check the answer. Okay? That means the answer is x equals 4. All right, we're going to move on to another equation. This is not an equation. It is an expression, and it wants an equivalent expression, which means we need to expand it. it means get rid of the parentheses using the distributive property. That means the one-fourth is multiplied to everything inside, the negative one-fourth. Boxes. Use boxes. Everyone that used boxes got this right. Everyone who didn't missed it. Negative one-fourth is outside here. I'm going to put a little time sign there so I remember. I've got negative eight x's above this box and 12 y's above this. <clears throat> that negative one-fourth is going to multiply to both of those. When you have a whole number times a fraction, you multiply the whole number times the top and then divide by the bottom. I'm going to do my signs first. I've got two negatives. That means I get a positive answer. So I can just do the math. 8 times 1 is 8, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I have two x's left. I go to the next one. Negative 1 fourth times a positive 12. I'm going to have one negative. And a negative and a minus are the same thing. So I'm going to put that down. <clears throat> 12 times 1 is 12. I already wrote my negative. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So I end up with a negative 3 y's. And there's my answer. 2x's minus 
three y's. If you wrote it as two x's plus a negative three y's, remember plus a negative and minus are the same thing. Okay, are the same thing. So two x's minus three y's. Right? Not going to go over those. I did in the study guide video. All right, let's look at this. You have 6 minus 2x's plus 5 plus 4x's. All right, we're going to use the distributive property to combine like terms. <clears throat> but first, I'm going to go through and get rid of any subtraction signs because I can't rearrange this until I have all addition. So I find my subtraction and I do change, change. Now I can rewrite this. Why is that important? I'm going to put my x's with my x's and my constants with my constants. Constants are numbers with no letters. The only thing that can add together here are our x's can go with our x's and our constants can go with our constants. You cannot put different ones together. They must match exactly, kind of like a last name or a group. So only the X's go with the X's. Only the numbers without letters go with the numbers without letters. Okay? All right. I have negative 2 plus a positive 4. That gives me, you can't add those, so we subtract. I get 2. I have more positives than negatives, so that leaves me 2 X's. And I have 6 plus 5 which is positive 11, so plus 11. And there is my answer. You could have also made boxes around the x's and then like circled or made some kind of thing that let you know which one went with. But you can't put all those together. You cannot put the 6 plus 2x, minus 2x's together. Can't do that. The 6 does not have an x. It cannot go with that. Okay? That is incorrect use of the distributive property, and it means you're not combining right term, like terms correctly. So be careful. Only letters that match can go together. I'm not going to go over those. I want to remind you what I've been telling all my classes. If you have an inequality, even if you don't need to solve it because you can find the answer looking at it, please write it down. Negative 3x's, 3 times x plus 1, is less than 7. The first thing I do when I see an inequality is do I have a negative number or a minus sign <clears throat> next to or in front of the letter or under the letter? In front of the letter or under the letter? A negative or a minus? I do. So I'm going to circle my inequality sign. Why? Because it needs to be flipped on the answer. Remember, that's important so your lines go in the right direction. Inequalities, anytime you multiply or divide by a negative, your sign flips. Writing it down helps. All right, let's go find another one. Here we go. All right, here's our next one. I saw people doing these completely wrong. 2 times the group, 2 times x minus 1 equals 10. If I have parentheses, I am going to divide first if I can. And I can. 10 divides by 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. You cannot add or subtract that 2 away. You can't. It is attached to that parentheses with multiplication. You can't take anything out of the parentheses until you get rid of them, either by dividing or multiplying. Okay? All right. That gives me 1. 2 divided by 2 gives me one group of 2x minus 1. So you have 1, 2x, and 1 minus 1. So the parentheses are off. Equals 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now I have a two-step equation left. No parentheses. That means I do the opposite of add or subtract with my constant first to get my zero pair. The opposite of minus 1 is plus 1 to both sides. That gives me my zero pair, leaving me 2 times x equals 6. The opposite of multiply is divide. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get my answer of x equals 3. 
got to do your steps out. All right. I want to make sure that I get a chance to do the one with this. Saw tons of people missing these last two. This one, divide both sides by three. It is not hard. Got to get the parentheses off. Divide both sides by three. Gives me one. One group. I don't need parentheses of x minus five equals three. Now, go to this side. Do the opposite math that I see. The opposite of minus five is plus five to both sides. Now, it leaves me with x equals eight, and I am done. All right. Two-thirds times x plus 4 equals negative 26. No parentheses. I do the opposite of add or subtract first. The opposite of adding 4 is negative 4 or subtracting. Same thing. I've got my zero pair there. I still have two-thirds times x equals on this side. When we're working with sign numbers, we're always doing addition because we don't subtract. So that's negative 26 plus negative 4. Same signs. Keep the sign and add the numbers. Tons of people missed it right there. When you have a fraction in front, because it means times, we usually divide. We don't divide fractions. Fraction in front of parentheses, fraction in front of a variable, you flip and multiply to both sides. Because it gives you 1 when you flip it on that side. That gives me 1 because I get 6 over 6, which is 1x or just x. On this side, I've got 1 negative. I'm going to go ahead and put my negative so I don't forget it. And 30 times 3, I get negative 90. Divided by 2. And that's how we got negative 45. Last one. We've got parentheses. 4 fifths times the group. Y minus 10 equals 8. Got to get the parentheses off. It means you either got to multiply that to everything inside or... We don't divide fractions. What do we do if they're in front of parentheses or a letter? Flip and multiply to both sides. Because it gives us 1 on this side. When we flip it, it's its reciprocal. All right. 1, because we get 20 over 20. That means 1y and 1 minus 10. All right, this Let's side, keep listening. 8 times 5 is 40. Divided by 4 gives me 10. Okay? Now all I have to do to get my y by itself is do the opposite of the math I see. What math do I see? Minus 10. The opposite of minus 10 is plus 10. To both sides. And you've got your answer y equals 20. Do these, people. Stop missing them. They are not as hard as you think. Okay, they really aren't. The only one I think we didn't do was the very first one. And I did see a lot of people miss this. There it is. So I will go over it real quick. Negative 2 times the group y minus 4 equals 16. Okay, I have parentheses. So I need to get rid of them. 16 does divide by negative 2. So I'm going to divide first. Divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. That gives me one group, 1y, one, 1 minus 4. 16 divided by negative 2 is 1 negative. Now you got one step left to get the y by itself. You do the opposite of the math you see. I see minus 4. The opposite of minus 4 is adding 4 or a positive 4. You got your zero pair. You've got your y. Negative 8 plus a positive 4. Can't add those together. We've got different signs. So we do 8 minus 4, and we get 4. We've got 8 negatives, 4 positives. It is a negative 4, and you are done. Practice these. Don't memorize them. Be able to do your steps. You can do this. 
learn how to solve these equations. Good luck.